One of the first things you notice in the JVSG software is these colored areas in front of a camera when you're doing a design and you'll notice that if you start to change some of the camera parameters the colored zones change accordingly and these correlate to pixel density or uh, also known as like pixel per foot or pixel per meter designations and if we come up here into settings and camera zone visualization you'll see here uh, the same colors represented and this is showing in this case this is showing the pixel per foot values in, uh, in each of these sections. So there's a bunch of default settings here depending on what your design criteria are or kind of what system you're working under. We'll just leave this in the horizontal pixel per foot settings here and um, we can toggle which zones are visible or not and if you don't want to design your system with the default you can say like like maybe for example you're working with a, a face recognition analytic that wants more than 90 pixels per foot uh, as an example so we can dial us up to 90 and now the zones colored this kind of orange color will uh, equate to 90 pixels per foot or more and we might want to say for observation we want at least 25 pixels per foot so we can we can change any of these parameters um, and when you close this out you'll see that they're immediately reflected in your design here and if we move the um, if, if we move the parameters of this out, you'll see the, the different colored objects. Uh, you see we get into this light green shade here. And if we were to uh, narrow the field of view, you'll see the red zone, the, the highest pixel density zone gets larger. So this is really helpful when you're doing your layouts to know in these different areas or these distances from the camera what kind of uh, image detail or quality you're going to get and there's also a little representative example right here in the different zones for like what a, a person in a license plate is going to look like at the far end of this this field of view so this is super helpful um, and you might make the conclusion that you could use this also if you're designing for video analytics to adjust these zones for what your analytics software requires um, to help guide your design and while that's that's definitely true that you can do that there's some tools built into the software that that make that even easier and help you optimize that so we're going to show you that in some upcoming videos on designing for face recognition or uh, LPR or uh, ANPR license plate recognition tasks.